Okay, the gods in question. That would be uh, demigods of the past. Where did all these ideals come from? What is the measurement of the Bible as far as what the Bible says about these? Uh, which is the standard of truth, of course. And I want to name some of them. These uh, so-called demigods were not gods at all, but but falling angels and records of their existence uh, still are with us today um, sort of like Hercules um, Hercules is a um, of course is a made up uh, fairy tale um, from from uh, the person of Samson in the Bible who had all the equal qualities of, of uh, you know, Hercules and Samson had all those equal qualities, so it was obviously that. But those like Hercules and Zeus, Poseidon, Neptune, same one, Aphrodite, who was a the Greek goddess of love, a woman, uh, the Bible tells us about uh, and talks about uh, where these were and God had power over these beings who and who they were were fallen angels. It talks about it in the uh, book of Genesis and a lot of atheists are confused about this subject because they think there is uh, many known gods and actually uh, well, you know, if, if there was an angel that came down here, and we uh, would see the powers that he had, literally an angel can't die. He has tremendous strength, a hundred times that of what uh, Samson would, would possess. Um, the Bible said it only took two angels to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. Only two. So, of course, men here would think that they are gods, you know. And it, a Superman, the, the character Superman, even came out from the uh, ideas that men had about these fallen angels that uh, men of today call demigods. And, and the Bible tells us what has happened to those. And in Revelations 9 and verse 14, I think it is. Let me go look at this. Uh, 14, 14. Here we go. Okay, let's start at 13. And it talks about this is the sixth trumpet. Okay. And there's a further description of how these angels got there. In the book of uh, um, that one prophet that didn't didn't die, he, the Bible said he walked into heaven. Is uh, Enoch, the prophet Enoch, wrote a book, and uh, more more description of these angels are there. But anyway, um, the book of Genesis says that these angels came down and mated with women of the earth, and they were giants in those days, and um, the the children of those angels obviously did not have all the power that the uh, angels themselves had. Um, they of course had a little bit over on men, but they didn't have the power because there's nothing registered about giants other than Jack and the Beanstalk as far as I know. And that's pretty much a uh, fairy tale. probably came from the idea of those same giants and they lived off a separate place from humanity the cow's hole and stuff like that just as the fairy tale goes but there's nothing really that came out uh, stories out from giants there's just there's just godlike men characters of godlike men and of course this is exactly what angels are like they're the same height as men they look like men you, if they walk they can walk among us the Bible says that some have entertained angels unaware so they can walk among us and not, and we not even know they're there and they probably do 
every day. Not all angels have wings. There's many recordings in the Bible where angels came down and, and they didn't have wings. They looked just like men until you look into their faces, I'm saying. And, uh, okay, and verse 13, it says, The sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which is before God, that would be the Father, okay, saying, verse 14, saying to the sixth angel which had the trumpet, Loose the four angels which are bound in the great river Euphrates, and the four angels were loose, which were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year to slay the third part of men. And I heard the number of the horse was 200,000 thousand. That's a lot of men. <coughs> and I heard the number of them. But okay, but this is what, what it is. And, it's, and they will be loose for a certain time to make war with man, to slay a third part of men. And this is... This is one of the four judgments that's coming upon mankind in the last days to to bring an end to to all things to men that will not turn. Of course, this is this will take place after the rapture. This is going to take place even after the um, uh, uh, initial time of tribulation. This is the sixth seal, which is there's only one more left after this. And uh, this is nearing the, the close end. Uh, this is after the stars fall. Um, and uh, uh, the, the last star will fall at the beginning of this same chapter, Revelation 9. And uh, hell will be literally poured out onto the earth at that time for a period of five months, the Bible says here. And this is, this is, um, will help clear up some of the confusion uh, that people that don't know things about the Bible, listen, all you got to do is, is listen to these um, uh, videos that are going on here, and you can learn quite a bit. If you learn, if you listen to one of these a month, you'll know more than 90% of the people around you. Get out your Bible, study right along with this, amen, and you can learn things, and you can be up on people. <coughs> Christians, this is a powerful tool for you to witness to atheists. There's some pretty sharp atheists out there. Not all atheists are stupid. Some of them have really good reasons. Um, I used to be an atheist when I was younger. My thoughts weren't all put together yet. But I had a good reason for what I believed. You know, at least I thought I did. <laughs> all right, God bless. Thank you for joining me. We'll see you next time. Another great message right here across in the middle ministry.